Greetings fellow journeyers. My name is Nichelle on Instagram. My page is My Lioness Journey and I also have a YouTube channel called My Lioness Journey. I wanted to pop in today to speak with you all about self-forgiveness because we hear about forgiving others not for them but for ourselves to release ourselves ourselves from them and their offenses or transgressions against us. But today I want to encourage you all, if you're not doing this already, for those of you that are stuck in this, to forgive yourself. And I'm also, as I speak to you, I speak to myself as well because this is something that in the past I struggled with a great deal but I am much better in this area. So as a fellow soul, I am reaching out to tell you all to go on a journey of forgiving yourself. Now, in forgiving yourself, and this is my opinion, of course, this does not mean justification. So this does not mean you've done something, you've done something, uh, committed an act against yourself that is not a uh, an uplifting or a high vibrational act against yourself you've done something towards yourself that could be self-sabotaging um so this is not a, a justification to continue to commit these acts against yourself and someone else but on your quest of self-forgiveness that you are learning the lessons and that you are continuing to grow even if you're making a little progress but some progress is better than no progress so that you are not continuing to repeat the same behaviors but i really feel like it is important to forgive yourself for many reasons but for today i'll touch on from the health aspect when well it's a lot of things there's you know with us all on this human journey experience in this human life on this planet of course we're going to have our ups and downs we're going to make our mistakes we're going to do things that later on in life we're like oh my god what in the world uh convinced me to go through with that act why did i say this why did I stay there? Um, why did I move faster? Why did I do whatever, fill in the blank? And for some of us, we can get stuck there and we cannot move forward because we're stuck there trying to understand why um, and maybe we're grieving about it depending on what it is. And these things do affect your health. Um, I personally feel like there are things that I have dealt with health-wise in the past was because of not forgiving myself, angry with myself for allowing myself to make certain decisions. I didn't take things into consideration, like, okay, certain things happen to you to cause you, or I won't say cause, but it contributed or influenced my decision making but then as I begin to grow and understand more and be receptive to growth then it changed the way in which I view things which in turn made me question things and say hmm, now that I know better I'll do better and and I won't do these things but I can't undo the acts against myself or or another i can't undo those things i can only ask for forgiveness from whomever i may have offended ask for forgiveness for myself grow and continue to move on this topic is more than just about myself when i think about it personally is this is a, a near and dear type of topic because i have a father that is ill and I have watched my father suffer with unforgiveness for many, many years. Unforgiveness of how his marriage went with, with, uh, went, went with my mother, uh, how it ended, how it failed, the relationship with me as a kid. Every time I would speak with my dad, my dad would relive 
over and over again the things that he said or done or how foolish he felt like he was because of the decisions that he made concerning my mom, uh, which in turn led to them separating, eventually divorcing. My dad has apologized to my mom. I don't know how many times he have apologized to me. And over the years, I've been watching my dad's health decline, decline, decline. And I remember feeling sad because it's hard to watch a parent suffer or anyone you love not just a parent it could be a child it could be a sibling it could be a good friend it's hard to watch these people suffer and you know that if they just found a way to just forgive themselves and just release release themselves that they'll feel better and i remember telling him i said dad it's hard to see you Sometimes he'll tear up or be really sad. Um, and, and I would say, it's hard to see you like this and I can't help you. It's, it breaks my heart as your daughter to see you suffer like this. Everyone has forgiven you. My dad is a religious man. I said, God has forgiven you. Everyone has forgiven you except for you. And because he's not forgiven, himself his health is affected to the point to where my dad is in a position to where he can no longer care for himself that is hard to see now of course some of you watching may say well i'm sure he had uh, he got some other issues going on yeah he does he has some issues i'm not going to say everything that's wrong with him because that part is his is his business he does have things that's going on and you know some people could say well some things are they run in the family if you have this issue or that issue some things may run in the family however i firmly believe that when you hold in a lot of pain and regret resentment unforgiveness i feel like those things wreak havoc on the body and my dad, in my opinion, is a living testament and witness to that because when it comes to his religion, he, he is diehard his religion. He is one that will pray for you on a drop of a dime. He could not be well or feel well in his body and it is nothing for him to pray for you and give you an encouraging word. So I know when it comes to his religious beliefs that his faith is strong. And he, he believes that, you know, because of his faith that he can be healed in his body. However, I feel like he's contributing and has contributed to his health because of the unforgiveness. So I am reaching out to you all today to say this because as his daughter, this is hard to witness. And, but it has also encouraged me to do a better job of forgiving myself and releasing myself. Whatever you done back whenever, you cannot undo whatever you said or done to anyone, including yourself, and, and most importantly, yourself. If you knew better, you would have done better. However, if you know better and you're continuing to do these things, now this is, this is a choice, okay? So it's, it's a choice if you know better and you're continuing to do the wrongs, to self-sabotage, to hurt other people. But if you made mistakes, you know, you're older, you're your 30s, 40s, whatever your age is, and you made the mistake in your 20s, or you, you broke this person's heart in a relationship, you cheated on this person, you stole from that person, uh, you did this in school, you lied on someone, whatever you done, I'm not here to judge. What I am saying to you is, if you knew better, you would have done better. Now that you know better and you are growing you're getting older hopefully that's where you are you are growing and you are learning from this the only thing you could do is ask yourself for forgiveness and then truly forgive yourself look in the mirror look at yourself and ask yourself for forgiveness and then tell yourself 
I forgive you. I love you. Because you're with you all the time and you're going to leave with you. And if you offended someone and you feel like you really hurt someone and you have the ability to, you know, apologize to them, then go ahead and do so. Or if you can't write out a letter. But as far as yourself, whether that person chooses to forgive you or not, because like in the situation with my dad, all of us have forgiven my dad, except for my dad. So I just challenge you and encourage you today to allow that forgiveness of yourself. Dig deep down inside and, and allow yourself to know that you are worthy of forgiveness. You are deserving of forgiveness of yourself. If you knew better, you would have done better. And you absolutely cannot go back to that day, that time, that era and redo it. If anything, and hopefully you've grown from that and you've learned from those mistakes and because of that you are a better person and you are able to treat yourself better and treat others better. But if you live with that regret, it is highly possible that you could be like my dad and be very ill to the point to where you cannot care for yourself. And I don't want that for you, I don't want that for your loved ones. So I just wanted to pop in today and say that self Forgiveness is very important and I really feel like it begins with being on that journey of healing. Healing isn't something that happens overnight. It's an it's a everyday process and loving yourself and releasing yourself. No one is perfect. Our bodies are not perfect. We don't speak perfect. You know, we're, we're just not perfect people and you are going to make mistakes so that you could grow and learn from them. But knowing that you're doing something wrong and continuing to do it, that's different. That's a choice. But if you have changed those behaviors and you have learned those lessons, there's nothing you can do about it but forgive yourself and move on. I hope this is helpful. And feel free to come on my page. I uh, make videos from time to time. I have encouraging messages on my page. And I also have YouTube my lioness journey where I share my stories because I'm on a personal healing and self love journey myself. And I feel like if, if I'm going to preach it, <laughs> which I don't preach, but if I'm going to preach it, then I should apply it to my own life. And I absolutely do not have a problem with sharing what I am, where I am comfortable with sharing to you all if it's going to encourage you and help you out along the way. Thanks again for watching and many, many blessings to you all.